Hello there, I'm Manu and welcome to the Dress My Craft YouTube channel. We have something very exciting coming today but before that do not miss to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So today we would be making up some really crude projects using the shrink ring that is the latest craze with everybody. So I'm super excited to work with the shrink print frosted glass sheets. These sheets are about 200 GSM and these are non transparent sheets. It's just a little opaque, you can see through it. So basically uh, you get two sides, one is a glossy side and other is a matte finish side to work with. So we would also be requiring these hand punches. The other thing we would be requiring is this fine tip ceramic tweezers and this tweezers really comes in handy because these have a ceramic tip and it really protects your hands when um, you're using the heat depositing tool. Okay, so now let's see how you can work with these sheets. You can cut these sheets with the trimmer, you can use the punches or you can freehand cut these sheets uh, after you stamp them or you can write on them or you can doodle them. So here are some stamped images on the glossy side of the shrink brick sheet and I have already cut out two tags and I have used the punch, the corner punch to round out the edges of the tags. You can also cut the stamped images using the scissors. You will just have to be a little careful when using when you are using the scissors uh, while cutting the shrink print sheet because uh, the sheets tend to tear with a little more effort that you put in so do it very nicely and softly and also um, the extra portions that fell off you need to take care of them because these are very hard plastic and those are very sharp so here i am using the dress my craft two inch circle punch to punch one of the sentiments of the shrink print sheet some of the various ways you can cut the shrink print sheet i am also using the one point 5 inch circle punch from this my craft to, put, to cut out a few extra circles so that I can use it on later in my Another way to cut the shrinking sheets is using the dies. You can use the flower dies or you can use the leaf dies to cut out your shrinking sheet. Now that we have all our designs ready, let's do a little bit of fun part and color them out. We would be using a lot of different mediums to color them or do. So in the first tag, I am doodling with a permanent marker. The normal it's a normal permanent marker, and I am doodling a few images on that. So my first tag is done. On the second tag, I will be making a little of a geometric pattern and I will be coloring it. The first tag I will not color and I will leave it as such so that it may be a little transparent and I really like the idea of having a transparent one. The second geometric pattern I will go ahead and color it off. So I have decided to color the geometric pattern one and also the hot air balloon and the baby. 
I think I'll leave the baby one, but I'll definitely cut the hot air one. I will be coloring the geometrical pattern using the oil pastel colors. You can use the oil pastels directly on the matte side of the frosted glass sheet, but make sure that you blend it very well. I am using a cotton band here to blend it nicely and proportionately on all the sides, and uh, it, I just make sure that no marks or none of the side is left remain on. So I've colored it all and I will now um, use the hand punch and punch. I'm now taking the balloon, hot air balloon stamp and I will be coloring it with the watercolor mediums. With the watercolor mediums you need to make sure that you do not lose a lot of water and also make sure that once you shrink it, use the heat gun and shrink the shrink ring, the color will get two to three tones darker. So use the lightest shade as possible because it is definitely going to get darker after you have used, after you have shrinked it. So here is another fun technique that you can use on the shrink pink sheets. You can stamp on them and color a little area and you can make it look really very really nice. So for the flowers I will again use uh, a little bit stamping and then I will be colouring them off with the, the oil pastels. I wanted to color each butterfly in a different color so I will be doing it up in the yellow, pink and blue I think and I will be making sure that I do it very nicely and do it very evenly because the end process or the end result matters. For one of the stamp circles, I'm just painting it with the white crayons. I want it on a back, white background and I'll also make sure that I blend it nicely. So for the tags with the butterfly, I wanted a little white background. So I'm painting, I'm sorry, I am uh, marking the strokes with the white crayons on the portions that are not colored. So I'll also make sure that they are even. For blending the pastels, you can either use your fingers or you can also use a baby wipe or a earbud to do it. So the last step before you actually do the heat embossing is to punch a hole 
and I accidentally forgot to punch a hole in the, the baby moon <laughs> stamp set so I will be using that as an embellishment and I won't be able to use it the part of the keychains and the bookmarks that I am making. Okay, so let the fun begin. Let's start heat embossing it. Make sure that you use the tweezers and uh, keep the heat gun a little away, not too away, not too far, not too close to your shrink ring sheet. And watch the magic as the sheets twist and turns and it unfolds and then it straighten out. Uh, so you will also need to make sure that your shrink plastic is as straight as possible so use a stamping block to stamp it down with pressure once it is shrinked here the actual size to what it has shrinked is always become one third of what the original tag was So here are all the embellishments that I made for the bookmark and the keychain and I really adored this little fella over here. I couldn't punch a hole through it so I'll have to use it as an embellishment but still this one is very dear to my heart and check out the post on what did I made using these embellishments. I hope you had a good time watching. I hope you like watching the video and do share your feedback with me. Uh, I hope you liked it and thank you for staying with me till the end. Thanks for watching.